Hi, I'm Naridan Sari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put two handed gun um, like uh, AR4, AR4 or uh, Kalashnikov, <laughs> whatever, that you can do something like this or two handed sword or axe or whatever that needs two hand to be attached to that gun or sword, right? So, without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporter for helping me to create all of these videos. And second, you should know that this, this video is a part of video series playlist of video about animations and a skeletal mesh. And third, please, please, please hit that like button to help me, right? Thank you very much. So for doing that, you remember, we put a one-handed gun in the hand of our character with the big hands, right? And now we are gonna use two-handed gun in there. So first of all, we have a, a skeletal mesh in here for our gun, okay? And we want to put two-handed gun in hand of our character, right? So just click on your... A skeletal mesh in here but if it's not there let me delete it and create it one more time click on your mesh add a skeletal mesh or a static mesh with a skeletal mesh it will be easier and i did show you how you can create a skeletal mesh with rigs and animation right click on that and now you can see let me change the name to the gun again and now you can see our gun is here now. Let me hit F in here so you can see it clearly. So this is the gun that we want to put it in the hand of our character, right? So let's just go to content drawer and show you this. This is our gun and you can see it's rigged. With with these bones, it it won't do not a lot, but it saves some position for us that we can use those positions okay there is no animation in it right now right so this is over a skeletal mesh but if you want to use the static mesh you can do it but for two-handed gun because we want to put uh, we want to attach our hand left hand and right hand to this gun it will be much easier to do it with bone actually i don't think that there is a way to do it without bone so you it should have bones for two-handed but what for for one-handed you can just use an aesthetic mesh right so now that we have this gun and in our character uh, blueprint class we add it okay right now it's not at the right position right you can see it and for putting it in the hand of our character so when the hand move or rotate the gun move and rotate with that we want to use something that is called socket if you watch my last video about uh, putting a gun uh, putting one-handed gun into the hand of our character you know it by now but let's just put this one in the hand of our character and for doing that we should open up let me show you the skeletal mesh double click on it and it will open it right and and because i did it once i always do this uh, the things that i'm gonna record i will do it several times so there won't be no mistake so you can see right now the bones is visible and um there is animation in here if you play it you can see there is an animation for holding rifle or holding a shotgun right for doing that you can just go here and choose use a specific animation and choose the animation you want that in this case is for rifle okay so for putting a gun in hand of our character we should play the animation of holding that gun okay and after that we can put the gun in the hand of our character and let's just pause it somewhere like this right so we want to put it in the hand of our character now let's just go to character bones and tell it to not show any bones first of all again let me open up the 
um, AR4 end in here. Okay. The right hand I want it to be here, and the left hand I want it to be here. So the right hand should attach to this point, and the left hand should attach to this point. Okay. We should connect it the door gone. So all the animation will be at sync, right? So for doing that, again, let's just go here. And in here, I want to create a socket. And I want to do it in hand R because I want to do this right hand first. So right hand should be here. So let's just do that first. Right click on your hand R, add a socket. And in here, I want to call that socket two-handed gun socket okay you can see from before there is a gun socket for one-handed gun and we create another one for two-handed gun right so for previewing for just previewing our gun on our character with its animation we should right click on this socket and add a preview asset okay so sk ar Four, okay now you can see the gun in the hand of our character but it's not a right rotation so let's just rotate it this way rotate it up and we want to bring it closer like this bring it down hold alt and rotate it around so we can rotate it this way w again to bring it forward like this and let me bring it down a little bit i think that's a good position for our gun right our character is big and this gun is a real gun model right so i i don't want to change the uh, size of that that's cool enough right so now we have a socket that has correct rotation and position for our ar4 right so now let's just save this and go to our character and click on our gun skeletal mesh in here and choose the two-handed gun socket that we just create. Now you can see it is in hand of our character, but the animation that is playing right now is for one-handed gun. That's okay for now, but we will change it with animation blueprint, right? So we just that let's just play and see if it's working or not you can see if we had two we change the animation and i did show you how you can do that with one it will play this animation for 100 gun and with two it will two on our keyboard it will hold a rifle and you can see it it works fine but there is a problem in here you can see the left hand is not sync to our tip of our gun okay so the right hand if you rotate it should rotate the left hand with it. it it should be like this right not like this okay it shouldn't be like this it should uh, rotate our left hand with the gun so um, the reason that is happening is because we didn't connect the left hand with our gun okay we didn't do that so how we can connect the left hand to our gun let us see first of all let's just go to our gun and again in here i want to go to character bone and see the old hierarchy you can see all the bones now i want to create a socket so i can uh, connect left hand to that socket okay we did that for right hand we create a socket on our right hand no we are gonna do it for the left hand but this time because the gun is more important the gun is a vector okay the gun is the one that decide where the left hand should be okay we want to create a socket in the gun that's why so the right hand decide the rotation and position of the gun and the gun decide the rotation and position of left hand okay so let's just create a socket add socket and in here i want to call it left hand pose position pose position okay pose socket so we created let's just move it like this i want to move it forward and move it here okay 
because we want to connect our gun to the left hand the left hand should be here right so i put the socket in here so when we connect it to this point it should work fine right so the left hand should be connected here everything cool with this socket let's just save it and now we want to get the position of this socket and set it for the left hand let me show you how you can do that i record this video for i think this is the fourth time that i'm recording it to explain everything as clear as possible so we want to get the position of the socket so we can connect our left hand to that position right so for that i want to go to our character character class and go to event graph and in here i want to use a event tick okay event tick and with that event tick we always get the position and rotation of that socket we want to do it with the tick so all the time should be updated right so which socket we want to get is the socket that we just create on our gun right so the gun is here so let's just get that gun okay and with that gun let's just get socket transform okay and it will tell you to give it the name of the socket so if we go to our gun we call it this so right click on it rename and copy its name right Control c to copy it and now if we go to our character we can just put it in here and for transform a space just use word rts word okay i will show you why this is important to use word no it will give us the transform but we need the location right so right click in here and a split a struct pin and we need just the location and we want to set that location into a variable right so let's just create a variable i want to call it left and pose okay and let's just set that it should be type of vector just remember that i want to set it with every thick with our location of our socket now we have the location of our socket let's just compile and now we have that let's just go to our animation blueprint just remember if you should open the animation blueprint because we are gonna connect the left hand to the uh, gun with that socket we should do it in here so in the animation blueprint first thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to event graph and if the event graph is not open for you just click in here in the event graph right uh, you remember we get the speed we get it if if it's jumping we get the direction for strafing and we get the is it rifle if it's uh, played the animation of rifle idle or pistol idle we did it in several videos in this playlist of video no we want to get the left hand location that we calculate in here we didn't calculate it because we just get it and set it right so no in our animation blueprint let's just get that first of all let's just create a variable to save it on okay i want to call it a b for animation blueprint i want to call it left and pose okay so with that we want to set it right so set it i want to set it at the end of this chain and let's just get it from the old character that we just calculated on we set it, we get it and set it so in here we want to get left hand pose that we just create in our character right and we want to use that to set over a b left hand pose let's just add this here so it will be beautiful so with that we always have the position of that socket that we put in the in the gun in ar4 right so we have the, that position no let's just go to anim graph and you can see in here i did talk about a state machine i did talk about animation cache i did talk about layer blend per bone all of them has separate video for all of them right 
and know we are here and I want to add to it, right? So let's just bring this out a little bit. I want to disconnect this with holding Alt and clicking here and right clicking here. I want to choose two bone IK and it will create IK for us. So with this two bone IK node, the gun can control the animation of the left hand that we want to attach it to our gun, right? So first of all, connect this to here. It will uh, convert it to component. That's okay. It will do it automatically. So now everything is cool. Let's just select everything, hit Q, so everything will be organized. So in here, first thing to do, you should click on this and choose the IK bone, the bone to be controlled with our gun. In here, I want to choose left hand because we want to connect the left hand to it, right? And let's just find it. Hand L, I want to use the index, okay? I want to use the index. I think that's better. And if you go here, you can see, uh, if, you, if you remember, in here we choose RTS word. So in here, we should change this component to word space. Choose word space for both of them. No. This two bone IK knows that it want to control in the, uh, the uh, left hand from index zero, right? With this bone that is called in here, right? So the location that it want to do it is this effector location that we calculated or get it from our character, okay? No, let's just compile. I think everything, everything is cool. No, let's just run our game. And if we hit two, no, you can see the gun is attached to hand of our character. You can see it's move with that and everything is cool. If you don't do it like this, let me show you again. If you don't do it like this, if you connect it uh, like this, when we hit f2 you can see the gun is not attached to her hand hand it has its own animation and the gun has its own animation and it won't it, it is not connected but if we connect this here and connect this here like we did it in this video let's just compile and now you can see it's now you can see it's connected to our hand and whenever the 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 position of the gun or rotation is changed the left hand will be changed with that as well of course it is better to have a animation that is created for this gun and created for this uh, character this static mesh that we rig it ourselves together right if you do it like that it will be better but i wanted to show you this um two bone ik so you are familiar with this kind of creating ik so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye